Growing up, I had dreams and aspirations, but always felt like the kid that didn't fit in. For the most part, I wasn't a bad kid, but when I made the transition into adulthood, I turned to the streets for guidance. This led to getting locked up in juvenile hall, doing time in CYA, and eventually a 120 month sentence in federal prison. I had a lot of time to think and reflect during my federal sentence. So I share with you what I learned, hoping I can positively influence someone else's life with Prison Talk. What's up, y'all? Big Kirk 916 getting down fresh out. You tuned into another edition of Prison Talk. I know you guys love this old format, so we went back to it. We were doing it in the podcast format, and the response was horrible. So we're back. We got to keep the channel rolling. And, you know, we're trying to take it in a different direction. So, you know, we have the interviews. We have the other stuff we're adding. But we'll keep the prison talk for those who love the interaction with the fans. And we appreciate you guys commenting and, and um, you know, letting us know how you feel about the channel. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also subscribe to the Instagram and Twitter, Fresh Out Series. And, um, you know, let us know as far as uh, on the comments where you guys would like to see this channel go because like i said we're always looking for input from everybody you know and the website is freshlifeseries.com um look forward to hearing from you this is uh from one of the viewers somebody is calling you to a tremendous important purpose there is nothing so powerful on the web as your channel i did some counseling years ago in county jail dealing with what is next prison or getting out I'm also a Christian. No matter how often I slip you, there is one sure fact. Jesus did die for me. Your presence and power and ability to communicate is off the chart. Yet so humble, and that is real. You are being called by higher authority. Please be in tune with it. My late pastor, Jerry Cardo, did 11 years in Sing Sing of a life sentence for a homicide he did not do. He was trying to be a wise guy with some mafia family in Jersey City in the late 40s. He asked, is so total honesty and humility for that miracle. He got it. Went to Bloomfield College in Jersey, Divinity School, served the living go, served the living, I think, God for the remainder of his days. Book done about him called Show Me a Miracle. Might still be in print. You are just doing an excellent service. If I was a DOC boss, you would be talking and teaching. Keep on helping people. Hey, thanks for the kind words, man. Appreciate that type of inspiration and support. You know, the whole purpose behind doing this channel was to create awareness, you know, um, stimulate conversation, open up dialogue, to share some positivity. You know, I'm not, I'm not all about the prison stories. You know, you don't see me, you know, sitting here with tattoos on my chest, trying to brag about, you know, this and that and, you know, yeah, I had a, a locker full of top ramen or tuna fish and I had this and, you know, that shit is, that's, that doesn't mean anything. That shit in jail is, doesn't mean nothing. You know, every day I want to go home. So you got some guys, they get in there and they just settle in, make friends, hang out, go play softball, play basketball. I didn't do none of that. I didn't even want to watch TV in there. I was so mad that I got duped into going to prison by making dumbass decisions that I punish myself every day. And even to this day when I'm on the street, I have nightmares about somehow I did something that was so stupid I got myself back in there. So I hated prison and I'm trying to teach you guys out there to hate motherfucking prison too and to not do dumbass shit. Wisen up in your choices. You youngsters, get off the fucking bandwagon of the dumb motherfuckers that you're following and make some wise decisions. Go to trade school if you don't want to go to college, man. Make, you know, become a chef, become a motherfucking um, uh, uh, electrician, become a, um, a dental tech, become an auto mechanic, do anything besides become a, a fucking deadbeat drug dealer, loser, steal, you know, robber, whatever the case may be, because you might get away once, you might get away twice, but sooner or later, that all that energy is going to catch up to you. And I'm trying to tell you, there's a lot of shit I got away with. I got away with a lot of shit. I was a slick motherfucker, but it only takes one bad decision and, and maybe 30 seconds too, too long to get caught up in a robbery, to get caught up in a motherfucking homicide, to get caught up in anything. And so, you know, I, I stress to you guys out there that, um, man, 
it's no honor in, you know, robbing a bank, um, laying down people, you know, tying up motherfuckers, you know, doing gangster shit, you know. People want to say, oh, Big Herc, you know, uh, you, 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 you t you're going corporate or you're doing this. Look, man, I've done everything you motherfuckers uh, uh, rap about and the shit you watch TV about. I've sold drugs. I've sold guns. I've sold every motherfucking thing under the sun, motherfucker. Home invasion, bank robbery. I done did it all. You know what I mean? We talking about gangster, motherfucker. I've been gangster. And it didn't get me no motherfucking where. What did get me somewhere was me getting out, embracing life, sharing positivity, trying to motivate people in a positive direction, changing my mentality, the way I think about things, not being so fucking aggressive and being angry and, you know, basically just uh, doing dumb shit, man. You know, it doesn't get you anywhere. It doesn't get you nowhere in life. And, you know, when you really look at the big picture and what the purpose and your legacy is, you got to think like, man, you know, is this what I want people to know, remember me by? I don't want people to remember me as the guy who was just the, 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 the horrible person that, that intimidated and, and terrorized. I want people to say, you know what, that guy changed his life. He did some good. A lot of kids were influenced by him. You know, he showed a different side that people could uh, actually um, turn their lives around. That's what I want to share with you guys. That's what my whole purpose of this channel was. Me and Big Ant, that's our long-term um, goal. You know, fresh out of the lifestyle, man. It's about success. It's about being positive. It's about, you know, hustling in a, in a, in a righteous manner, you know, getting money, traveling, taking care of your family, being spiritual, you know, being in shape, you know, taking care of yourself. That's what Fresh Out's about, man. Ain't about penitentiary motherfuckers uh, bragging about, you know, what they did in the pen. It's about bragging about what you're doing that you're out, how you've made progress. And this gentleman right here, man, you know, thank you for the, uh, just like I said, the kind email, man. And, and, it's, and it's all, it makes it all the worthwhile and, and it lets me know that what I'm doing is in the right direction. So shout out to you, man. And um, Big Herc Prison Talk, man. You guys keep supporting and tune in. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com